Hello everyone, Dennis here to Federation Shipyard, coming to you with another update on the Polar Lights 1350 scale TOS Enterprise, the base. <clears throat> Alright, what I'm doing now is uh, getting ready to mount the center panel here. <clears throat> I'm going to be measuring both sides so I can get it centered perfectly. I'm going to mark it and I'll fasten it in. And then once I get it in, i got to put these little triangles that I made that uh, would actually make the end up being like the end caps here on the end to give it more of a sleek look instead of just a panel coming off. And there's one on this side and one on each side. So what I'm going to do then after that is put this photo etch, the Delta Shield here and Star Trek, right, mount that right in the center. And then I have momentary switches and a couple on-off switches. What I'm going to be doing is uh, having one switch for like the main power to light to power everything, and then the other switch is going to be just for the uh, the lights on the base um, because this light here that goes across is going to be on all the time, but the lights in this uh, that are in the picture here. And the spotlights that are going to be that are, I've got set to go on here, those are going to be on the same circuit, and those will be sh shut off or turned on whenever they want, or whenever the client wants it to be. So, and then here on the end, I'm going to start drilling holes to put the momentary switches in. So, and then I have to still drill the hole in the back of the photos for the for the power. So. I'm going to get started, oh, and I still have to do the hole right here by Kirk's head. So as soon as I get these done, I'll get on and work on that. As soon as I get this part here done, and start working on it. You get to a certain point, I'll come back and show it to you. Until then, just hang in there, and I'll be right back. All right, everyone. Uh, I have the side panels put on each side. One over there, and one over there. Um, I, did, I uh, used some thick CA. And some zip kicker to get these uh, glued on. Now what I'll do is once they cure really good, I'll come back and do the seam work on both sides. And then what I'm going to do then is put the the Delta shield here in the center, along with the Star Trek. And then again, I'll be putting the, an on-off switch here, or two on-off switches, and then I'll be putting. Um, six momentary switches over here five for the different sounds and one for the engines so I'll get working on that and as soon as I get the holes drilled I'll come back and show you so you can see what it looks like right back alright guys there's been a slight change of plans here um, instead of having the buttons here in the front next to the, the panel with the lights on it <clears throat> I'm actually putting them into the picture itself. Uh, one of the reasons why is big reason is on the side here there was uh, with the panel on the front there wasn't enough room to start putting switches in. So what I did is since the red switches and there's a bunch of red buttons on there they'd go in well with uh, the scenery here. So I'm just drilling the holes and inserting these momentary switches that I got from Jerry at uh, HDA model works so and I got the center rod put in it's not in it just got stuck in the hole for now I got the hole drilled for it so that's where that right now as soon as I get the rest of them in I'll come back and show it to you back in a few all right guys <clears throat> I got them all in some more here a little bit I don't have them uh, fastened in I just got them set in the holes right now but how it's going to go is the power button and these other ones here are all momentary switches. I'm going to have, again, the power. This one's going to control the speed of the engines. And this one's going to control all the different uh, sound effects that I, uh, soundboard that I have that I bought from Boyd at Trekworks. So uh, I just want to show you what I got done. Now I'm going to clean up, get rid of all this drill uh, dust from the drill. And then I'll get these all fastened in or get them soldered to wires and get them fastened in and start getting them in. I'll be back as soon as I get that done. 
Alright guys, we're getting there. We got these switch uh, uh, these switches all hooked up. I drilled a bunch of little holes right here for the speak that's uh, for the speaker that's behind it. Again I got the hole drilled here for the, the pole that for the enterprise is gonna sit on. And I got like again I got all the switches hooked up so what we'll do is uh, I'll go through them real quick. This is the power button that's gonna operate the corner lights with the end caps are on them and the uh, um, spotlights. This one is going to turn the Enterprise on and the rest of the switches. This one here is going to be the momentary switch for the um, warp drive engines. And these four here are for the sound. So we'll turn it on. And this one should be the intro. This does the whole opening uh, theme, so I'll go on to the next one, which should be all the bridge noises. And then we have uh, phasers. And then lastly, the photon torpedoes. So we're entering the final stretch. Like I said before, one thing left to do now is to put the pole in for the Enterprise to sit on, finish mounting that front panel, and then actually getting the Enterprise on it and wire it through, and it should be uh, pretty much uh, taken care of. Then the last thing I'll, I'll have to do is put the uh, decals on it and the clear coat to seal in the um, decals. So that'll do it for this segment. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, just keep doing what you do best. Keep building those models. Have fun doing it. And please like and subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. And we'll see you in about a week or so.